Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So in this video, I'm going to give you an example related to um, the idea of finding the displacement and the distance traveled by a particle. All right. Uh, so here, a particle moves along a line so that its velocity at time t is given by this function here, and this velocity is measured in meters per second. So uh, find the displacement of the particle during the time period uh, t between one and four. So I think uh, whenever you get a uh, uh, this kind of problem, maybe if it it can be helpful if you want to visualize the graph of the given function. So for example here uh, you have um, vt so uh, I know that this is a quadratic function and since um, this is positive coefficient here is positive which is 1 so I know that the graph will be looking like this okay next um, perhaps it is also useful if you can uh, sketch it uh, 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 write it in terms of factors okay I'm sorry you write it in terms of factors so for example you have t squared minus t minus 6 uh, this is actually um, t and t so this is t squared and it could be 3 and 2 the factor of 6 is 3 and 2 and you want it to be negative 1 so this will be negative and this will be positive so it will be uh, t plus 2 and t minus 3 so i will write this again in terms of t plus 2 and t minus 3 so based on this i know that the roots of my graph will be at uh, positive 3 and negative 2 okay so i'm going to start by sketching the graph so this is for time t and this is the velocity at time t and uh, roughly I know that the point here is positive 3 and another point is um, negative 2 but really um, uh, we don't really um, we don't really need to consider this uh, but anyway um, because negative 2 is um, because time cannot be negative so now how about at point t equals to 0 so this is at point t equals to 0 when point t is equal to 0 velocity will be equal to um, negative 6 so you can plug in t equals to 0 the value of velocity is at negative 6 okay, so um, Okay, so it will be at negative 6. So maybe somewhere here, negative 6. Um, so maybe it's going like this. So it will go like this, actually. Um, because I know that the graph will be smiling. And it will cross this point and that point. And when t is 0, it will be at negative 6, which is this one. Okay, so roughly this is the velocity function and um, the question the first question is asking you to find the displacement of the particle during the time period 1 and 4 so uh, the question is asking you to find for the time period 1 so 1 could be somewhere here and the 4 will be maybe somewhere here so um, so from time 1 and 4 so you can see that um, roughly we are talking about this area here and this area on this side so there is a positive area and a negative area okay positive area and negative area so um, according to the formula that we have here you can just find the displacement by integrating the velocity function with respect to time um, t1 until t2 so we are just going to apply that formula so that is quite straightforward we, we actually don't need the graph yet but it's good to visualize it early on so now uh, displacement is going to be uh, finding the integral of this function t squared minus t minus 6 dt from time 1 until 4 
and the result here is d cubed over 3 minus d squared over 2 minus 60 evaluated at 4 and 1 so 4 and uh, 4 to the power of 3 is just equal to 64 so that is 64 over 3 minus 16 over 2 minus 24 minus so this is 1 over 3 minus 1 over 2 minus 6 okay so that one is 64 over 3 minus 8 minus 24 this is um, negative 32 over 3 this is minus so 1 over 3 minus 1 over 2 minus 6 so that is negative 37 over 6 which is going to be positive 37 over 6 and the final answer is um, minus 4.5 so the final answer is minus 4.5 and the unit is in meter because velocity here is noted is, is represented in meters per second therefore displacement will be in meter so negative 4.5 meter and you know that um, we know that the position is uh, 4.5 meter toward the left okay so that's uh, the, the displacement Okay, next uh, we are going to find the distance traveled during this time period. So, okay, I'm just going to erase um, this part here. Okay, in order to find the distance travel, uh, we know that the formula that you need to use is from 1 to 4. This is uh, the absolute value of velocity function, dt. And you just make sure that velocity function here is positive. So we can see that um, um, from point 1 until 3, the function here is negative. Okay, the, fun the value of vt is negative. So we need to turn that into positive by um, introducing the negative sign. So we can, what we're going to do is we need to uh, actually, uh, graphically speaking, we need to reflect the graph on the x-axis so that it looks like this. Yeah, so reflect so on this x-axis so by doing that you can find the area that is positive here and the way we reflect that is by introducing the negative outside this function so t2 minus t minus 6 so t square minus t minus 6 so you introduce a negative sign because you want to reflect that on x-axis so that it becomes positive from 1 until 3 so from 1 until 3 so okay so there you go that's the part that you have to consider next uh from 3 to 4 we have got no problem because vt here is positive so we don't need to do anything we don't need to um, change anything here so i'm just going to write from 3 to 4 i'm just going to plug in this function here as it is t squared minus t minus 6 dt okay so next this becomes 3 and 1 so this is negative t squared uh, or negative can be taken outside actually so negative can be taken outside we don't need to evaluate that so negative can be taken outside okay so negative can be taken outside then you have t squared minus t minus 6 dt so plus 4 and 3 t squared minus t minus 6 dt so next this becomes negative of t cubed over 3 minus t squared over 2 
minus 60 evaluated at 3 and 1 and this become plus d cubed over 3 minus d squared over 2 minus 60 so this is evaluated at 4 and 3 okay so this becomes a uh, negative of uh, this is 27 over 3 okay 3 cubed is 27 Next, uh, 9 over 3, 9 over 2, minus 18. Now, minus 1 over 3, minus 1 over 2, minus 6. This one is plus. So, just substituting all the values here. You substitute 4 into this. 64 over 3, minus uh, 16 over 2 minus 24 minus um, 27 over 3 and then minus 9 over 2 and then minus 18 okay so this becomes negative of so you just uh, punch in your calculator Okay, so this is negative 13.5 minus so this is um, plus 37 over 6 okay and then this one plus This is uh, negative 32 over 3 minus uh, minus minus 13.5 which is plus 13.5 okay so next uh, we can uh, continue okay, I'm continuing it on this part here so we got 13.5 okay 13.5 here negative negative positive minus 37 over 6 minus 32 over 3 plus 13.5 and this equals to okay uh, this equals to Ten point one six, okay, approximately two point ten point one seven, which is uh, sixty one over six. So this one is equal to sixty one over six meters. Okay, so that is the answer to the second question. Uh, the distance traveled during this time period is sixty one point one six. Okay. Right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.